Welcome back in. It is Imagination Station time this morning, and Sarah Neff joins us with an experiment that is about light bulbs. Sarah, good morning to you. Good morning. How good are you? See, very good. Good to see you again. Thank you. All right, so let's build a light bulb today. Let's do it. What do we All have right. going on here? Well, we're going to be talking about electricity, so we're going to start out with this, right? I'm sure everybody's okay. got a light bulb like this at their house, right? They do. All Shall right. I hold it? Yeah. Oh. My answer. Magic science one. <laughs> I like it. All right. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to apply some voltage to that. All right. So there's a filament in the top of our light bulb, and that's that super tiny little coil. Mm -hmm. That's what the volts travel across. Okay. But we don't have a wall outlet. So I'm going to do is use this string of batteries, and this is approximately 18 volts. Okay. So I'm going to create a circuit with my little alligator clips here. Now what's going to happen is your light bulb is going to light up. Very cool, right? It is, yes. So it's not very bright. That's actually a 200 watt bulb. It could be a lot brighter. It could be a lot brighter, right? But we're only applying 18 volts. So that's what's happening. Let's build our own now, all right? So instead of using a little coil, we're actually gonna use pencil lead for our filament today. All right, so I've got some pencil lead here. You can Anything see particular about using pencil lead? Is it just an effective conductor of the electricity? Yeah, yep. So what's interesting about pencil lead is that it actually doesn't contain any lead. So they've <laughs> been fooling me for tricky, years. Right? Yeah, it's actually just graphite and clay. All right, but we have the same setup. We've got two little alligator clips here with our filaments, which is our pencil lead. So I'm going to give you one alligator clip, and I'm going to hold on to the other one. We are actually going to take this string of batteries, and we're going to use that same 18 volts to light up this filament. Okay. All right. So go ahead and just touch yours to the end and hold it there. Now we see what is actually some water vapor being released. It kind of looks like smoke, but it's not harmful, okay? And you can see our filament lighting up, okay? So those 18 volts are traveling across the filament or the pencil lead that we're using in this case. We're creating a light bulb, okay? Very cool. Pretty cool. Now the longer we leave that on there, the brighter it's gonna get because right wow. now it's very thin and so a little bit of it is burning away and it's creating a really high resistance. So the hotter it gets, the brighter it's gonna burn. Okay? Makes sense. It does, right? So it's gonna get pretty bright. If we wanna make it even more realistic, we could put a beaker on it. Which then, <laughs> hence, looks like a light bulb. Looks just like a light bulb, right? Now eventually that resistance is gonna get so high, it's gonna get so white hot in there that it's gonna burn out. Is that what happens when a light bulb essentially blows? It is. So if we take a look at this one, if our cameraman can zoom in there, um, that filament right in the middle is actually like hair thin where it's burned out. Mm -hmm. And if you compare it to the ends, those are still pretty thick because those weren't conducting anything. Okay. And we still had our uh, alligator clips attached. Yeah. Basically after it blew out, we were done with the current. Right. It was not able to flow through anymore. Right. Now that filament was really thin, so it didn't last very long. So over here, I've got another piece of pencil lead, and it's considerably thicker. Okay. All right, so we're gonna try the same experiment. We're gonna move our battery train down a little bit, okay? And we're gonna apply those same 18 volts. Now, in theory, this one should last longer, right? Because it's a lot thicker. We will see. All right, so go ahead and put your alligator clip on there. Oh, let me help you out. Uh, back the other way. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. There you go. All right. So again, we're playing those 18 volts. We can see that water vapor coming off again. And this one is not really lighting up like the other one did, right? It is not. No, still pretty dark looking. But wait for it, wait for it. There it is. Ah, it just takes a little more time. It does because this pencil lead is so much thicker, it has a lower resistance. So there's more surface area for those volts to travel through. So it takes longer for the pencil lead Will to Will it up. eventually get as bright? Um, if, if we had time after time to kind of keep it on there. It wouldn't get as bright, okay. but it would burn considerably longer. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take that one out. Now that first one, it actually, exploded, right? Kind of blew up on yes. us, caught a little bit of fire. So that's because we have oxygen in the air. So what if I told you that I filled this beaker with helium before okay. the segment? So we're going to put this on top now. We're going to take away the oxygen, replace it with helium. Try one more experiment here. Okay. All right. Now again, just adding 18 volts, creating a circuit here. We're gonna trap that water vapor, and now you can see our filament is lighting up, and this one should last even longer than the first one because we don't have that oxygen to cause it to combust as quick. Gotcha. 
So this one will burn even longer. Which is why a light bulb is enclosed then, correct? It is. And light bulbs have things like argon and krypton mm -hmm. inside. Okay. Yeah. All right, as we wrap this up, what do you guys have going on at the Imagination Station? Holidays approaching and all? We do. We still have Frostology and Grossology. Um, we're going to be closed on December 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Okay. But we're reopening on the 26th, so make sure you come down and see us. All righty, Sarah, thank you so much. Good to see you again. It's an enlightening experiment. <laughs> thank Appreciate you. It. All right, coming up on WT11, your day. How about a look at your certified most.